Hello and welcome to another hair tutorial. Waterfall braid is perhaps the most popular hair trend of the moment, and the great thing about it is that it works well on most hair lengths and types. In this video I would like to show you how to incorporate it into other beautiful hairstyles that you can wear every day and for special occasions. In my first video on a waterfall braid I've created on my naturally straight hair, but why not try it on curly hair? With curls, your hairstyles will look even more romantic and princess-like. I've curled my hair overnight using bendy foam rollers. I've made another tutorial where I talk about them in detail, so feel free to check it out. To start with, I will quickly remind you how waterfall braiding works. After you split your hair in three parts, bring the top strand over the middle one and bring the bottom strand over the middle one, you want to repeat the following sequence of steps. Place the top strand over the middle one, this way it becomes the new middle strand. Add some hair from the top to the middle strand. Release the bottom strand and replace it with some hair right under it. Place this new strand over the middle one and repeat the entire sequence of steps from the very beginning. So the top strand goes over the middle one. You add some hair from the top to the middle strand. You want to release the bottom strand of hair and replace it with some hair right under it. Once I get to my bag, I form a regular braid and secure it in place with a small elastic. Final corrections are very important in case of this hairstyle. Pulling the released strands of hair down will permit us to smooth out the surface and get a neater look. There is also a modified waterfall braiding technique that produces slightly different results. I start the same way, so here I bring the top strand over the middle one and then add some hair to the middle strand. But now I do not release the bottom strand of hair, I want to bring it over the middle strand instead. It's one step later that I release the bottom strand and replace it with a new section of hair that I pick right under it. I bring this new strand over the middle one and then repeat this braiding sequence many times. If you see the released sections of hair as jets of our waterfall braid, then the main difference of this technique from the other one is that it creates a waterfall with twice less hair jets. You can also see that the top segments of this braid are twice longer than the bottom ones. In this light my hair shines a bit too much for you to see all the details, but normally you can see them straight away. Now I want to bring both braids together and secure them in place. After that I can remove the elastics from the two regular braids and undo them. I'm using a small hair bow to decorate this hairstyle. And this is what it gives if I create regular waterfall braids on both sides of my head. To get another very girly and playful look, I'm going to gather the hair strands that I was releasing and secure them all together at the back of my head. And to complete this look, I'm going to use another hair bow. Another quick hairstyle that can be done using our braided half up to is an elegant ponytail. I'm going to secure all my hair at the level of the elastic, connecting the two braids. Then I take a section of hair from my ponytail and wrap it around the elastic band to cover it completely. I'm going to secure the end of the section with a bobby pin, pushing it under the elastic. After that, this look is finished. Leave me a comment and let me know which look you liked most, and feel free to subscribe for notifications about my new videos. I thank you very much for watching! Bye bye!